I will be voting no for Mr. Twigg's nomination as chairman of this board. I do not believe that Mr. Twigg has the temperament nor the skill to be chairman. He has proven that he does not abide by the rules of parliamentary procedures. He is not prepared for business meetings. He get up, gets up and leaves meetings multiple times during a meeting. He has had to be called out of order for telling colleagues to shut up. He has called board members ignorant. He has called fellow board members stupid. He has publicly berated staff. He has publicly berated one of our largest contractors. He no, has no qualms about breaking laws and does not understand rule of law. He has spoken about confidential HR matters in open session. He is constantly using his AOL account to send and read emails. Hold on, can I have a, a point of order here? I'm um, speaking. Is this against our ethics? Because we have no. to sign the ethics. So he wants I'm, I'm to just burn books. Making sure. Don't elect After the six ladies. years is, on is the there, board, he is thinks there a he need can for this? vote. I am still the chairman. You're attacking a fellow no, you're board not. member. No, we there is no attacking. chairman. The, you are merely a facilitator. It's in accordance you are out of with order, the Roberts rules. As I've said. After six years on the board, he still thinks we ha can vote in closed session. He was arrested for reckless handling of a firearm. Point of order, Madam Chair. Oh my point of order. Yeah, this is his oh constituents. Oh okay. He has said that, just proves you're that right. he <laughs> serves Supervisor David oh, Ross no. okay. in the same conversation okay. that he called Supervisor David Ross the king oh, of the county. Oh, my word. We, I we will be voting stop. no. I have